In that last episode, we built an iOS app, but that app was relatively simple, being that it didn't include any dependencies. We'll now write the same app in Kotlin. First, open up the starter project. In the Android source file, create an empty build file. Now we're going to load our rules. Add the following. We're going to declare a constant for the manifest. You'll see why soon enough. Okay, we'll create a library target. This will be a type of KT Android library, that is a Kotlin library file. We'll give it the name Kotlin sources and pass in the Kotlin files. Next, we'll pass in a package name and a manifest. Finally, we need to make sure that we will include all of our Android resource files. Okay, now the fun part. We're going to include all the dependencies that we need to build the project. Add the following. Okay, that's our first target. Now for our second target. This is for our Android binary. Notice that we are passing in the manifest. The manifest is required for both the Android binary and the KT Android library. This is why we store the manifest in a constant. Now we can try to build the app, the keyword being try. Type the following. After this runs for some time, the build fails. We can get more information passing in the verbose failures flag. We're running into a DEX issue. We need to pass in some flags to help with the DEX parsing. Add the following. The compiler is unable to merge our DEX file, so by using flags, we've defined the type of DEX merger to use. Now the build runs, but we'll have to pass in those flags every single time. Thankfully, there's a way to do this without adding the flags to the command line, and you'll learn about it in the next episode.